In this video, we'll show you how you can approach Lab 4. Okay, and let's learn some debugging techniques. We're going to run in the simulator, so we'll select simulator uh, with the Lab 4 uh, debugging. All right, so we're going to build, which is compiling. Uh, we're going to debug over here, and so let's learn some debugging tools. The first is step over. So if there's any function that you don't know about and don't care about, you step over it. Or if there's a function you've already tested, you don't want to step into it, you step over it. Okay. So let's step into this function by t clicking step. Okay. So now we're in it. So we can step through this function uh, one step at a time, and eventually it will end and bring me back. Next, let's learn how to look at variables. Variables are very important, and we want to look at them. So I can click on a variable, uh, right click, and do an add to watch. And that way, I can see that variable in this window down here. Let's add the other one. So these are variables that allow me to observe the function as it executes. So we'll step over, uh, step over, step over. All right. So we notice that uh, switch one actually reflects the current state of the switch. Yeah, where is switch one? Let's find it. Switch one is here on Texas port F. So let's look at it. And so here is the simulation of the two switches and the three colored LEDs. So at this point, switch one being negative logic is telling us that it's off. Yes. And so to interact with the system, I can click a switch on by clicking that button. So let's step over and see what happens. Step over, step over, step over, and you can see that the program is running over and over and over again. So these are the debugging tools that you will need to do Lab 4. Now you do it. 